I don't know. Uh, Tech's always kind of been like a big boys club. But why? It doesn't. That's not like innately masculine in nature. Besides, uh, besides, okay, but if you if you take away like infrastructure of it, sure, there's like it's nothing but dudes. But like tech I, seems pretty. Okay, this wild theory, wild theory, and maybe this is more so. Not now, but like in the past, like they didn't allow females to do stuff in the fifties and stuff. Well, yeah, that that obviously was it. But I was gonna say, like, you know, a lot of the people that like built Silicon Valley and these mm-hmm. billion dollar products were they were nerds. They yeah. like didn't have girlfriends. Like Bill Gates was a fucking loser. Oh, so I'm thinking like revenge, dude. They're not fucking getting any any kitty cat anywhere. So they're like, okay, what do I do with all this brain power? Let me build something awesome. So you're saying all of the technology is built on the the non courting of women. I think so. I I read I've, just, heard, okay. I've heard theories that like <laughs> the biggest like uh, civilizations in the world were just like people like that like redirected their sexual energy to like something else. I I I, I think there definitely is something for that. Um, if, you, if if you know a book called Think and Grow Rich. Uh, by Napoleon Hill, one of those classic like book readers books. Um, he he does talk about the like the transmission of sexual energy um, towards not just like because it's a very powerful like energy for biology, you know. Um, yeah. And if you redirect that, just not towards like just like sex or courting women at, like at a at a bar in in a in a modern day sense, and towards something else uh then you do kind of have that like that drive for making things like maybe it is that but uh yeah the the (laughs) transmission of sexual energy is something that is an interesting theory as well mark zuckerberg be like well i can only beat my dick five six times a day so let me just build facebook real quick yeah i mean first let me build a website to rate women (laughs) and then i'll build facebook i was reading a book and and they were talking about how the the original college facebook just turned out into like like a dating thing not yeah. by, not on purpose but uh you know innately yes that is i mean that is something to be said for that of like if you if you don't have like a like a biology partner to put energy into then you put it put it into, into something else or, yeah and it could be destructive or productive yeah just like anything everything can be either or and i think even uh i mean even having a a a partner uh could be destructive or productive i know a lot of people have made productive things based off just drive for providing for family there was this tiktok and then it was a stitch it was this girl this young woman and i guess she was like a stem major or like a computer engineer or something the tiktok was like along the lines of when you're is it the futurist chick? Is she uh, like a light-skinned black lady? No, but I do follow her. Yeah, that she's, chick is dope, huh? I tried to get her on the pod. She ain't hit me up yet. Oh, good luck. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a she's, girl. she's a lot of followers. <laughs> <laughs> I'll grab um, her. I'll grab her. She's that uh, dope stuff, dude. Yeah, I was like, wow, I didn't know futurist was a job. Well, I guess anything can be a job. I mean, you have a million followers. Bro, the, the, fu- the futurist thing is a thing. Like, a thing, a thing. Yeah. Okay, continue. Um, so you know, this girl was like, "Oh, when your when your male coworker, computer junior coworker, doesn't get the hint that you don't like him, and he keeps oversharing." And then it cut to this guy was like, "Okay, I want to explain this. You have a bunch of people in computer computer engineering degrees who have no experience with women because they didn't get any sex in high school and college, and so they redirected all this energy into like engineering and building products and stuff." And now they're in the workforce and they're around these women because more women are entering the field and they don't really like no boundaries. So it's coming off as awkward and it's coming off as weird where in the past, when um, in the past, if there were like men that were like doing okay with women, like in the area and they saw a guy like struggling with a girl, they're more likely to be like, Hey man, try this differently. Hey man, let's go to the gym. Hey man, uh, maybe don't like ask her this, but instead, because the workforce is like quickly going to like almost half women, the women just view it as like super 
creepy and super unattractive and nobody's like correcting these men's behavior so it's like you're having like a lot of issues in the specifically in the tech workforce interesting i was like well that's really interesting. Uh, you just need a you just need a uh a uh a, a tech wingman like i said brothers there's, there's there's a niche in crypto uh man counseling yeah yeah oh god i love <laughs> you, i love really? the comments of those What's it's the man counseling like, TikTok? The man counseling and the women counseling. Because it's just a battle of the sexes. I mean, engagement's engagement. Sometimes I like, sometimes I get a, a woman being like, listen, ladies, this is how you actually get a man. <laughs> men don't like it when she, they're usually straight up, they're like, men don't like all this boss girl shit. Men don't want to compete with their woman. They just want to provide and call it a day. Like, don't compete with your man, blah, 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 blah. And then you look in the comments and some of them are like, okay, I'm going to try this. And some of them are like, no, fuck that. No one can keep me small, blah, 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 blah. And then you go to their TikTok and they're just like, just ranting about men and how they can't get a boyfriend. I'm like, okay, maybe there's a correlation here. There can, there can be both. You can be big and the other partner can be big too. I found uh... the comp, but that competition thing is weird. You, you do see a, like a push um and and rightly so because it's overcorrecting from the past but of very like uh uh you know women empowerment all cool it's valid because it has been very taken power from the past but i still think that healthy families especially but have a dynamic of of like give and take yin yang yeah, like you, you and, and this is kind of just for like male female relationships, and it's probably similar for other relationships. But I still think having some stereotypes of masculine and feminine in a family is, is warranted. It's like, just like really unattractive when your girl tries to outman you. Yeah. It's sure. like I can imagine it's kind of like when the man tries to out woman the girlfriend like that, i don't know what is that word <sighs> what's a good example like they can't make a decision they're not a natural leader like I, I might get a little heat from this but in my experience the women i've dealt with are much happier when you make most of the decisions when you don't say what do you want to feel? What do you want to eat? Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? Say, no, this is where we're going. This is where we're eating. This is the plan, you know? Sure. Because no, no one wants to make decisions. Like, you're the leader. You fucking do it. But, yeah, but then, like, you, you switch the roles or, like, the roles, which is what a lot of modern society is trying to do. And you can see, you can see the results in a lot of the relationships. A lot of the relationships, the woman loses respect for the man the man gets insecure and the dynamic is just kind of off and yeah basically that's all i gotta say about that i think it's, you know it has to be healthy but it has to be healthy. I, I also both things can be unhealthy like like and you can also like there you can have power in like not being an alpha in a family yeah like as a woman and even as a man too there's 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 scenarios where you have to be like all right she definitely has to make a decision for this right now and i have to be okay with being like all right this is this is a decision i have to take a second back seat on yeah like if it's something like i don't know something with the kids or something she probably knows best it, it doesn't even have to be just kid related there's there's certain things that certain roles in any society you have to be humble enough to be like all right this isn't this is this can't be my call someone else is either smarter more adept in this field and area than i am then you, you, you continue from there god i will dude some people's like shit is such a mess i came across this couple their whole thing is being polyamorous meaning they allow each other to sleep with other people and I came across this couple and the girl was like talking about how she has another boyfriend with her, her main boyfriend. They've been together for like 14 years. So she has another boyfriend and she's sharing finances with the other boyfriend. 
and a guy. Yeah. I never like, thought about po- uh, po- polyamorous lifestyles with fi- with finances. I only thought about sex, huh? <laughs> Such a mess. Okay, and then you have this guy, the main guy. He's like, hey, I don't think you should be sharing finances with another man because like what if i give you money and then you give him money i just imagine her money. just with like just like but like super on her accounting though <laughs> she's just like well i got i gotta give like seven percent to jim dude because you know it's just it, that's just where it's going right now yeah and then you go i go in the comments and it's just a w- bunch of women telling saying who does he think he is telling you what you should who you should share finances with that's because you're sharing i mean he has some kind of right because he's sharing a life with you yeah it's like well they live together too <laughs> like that's that is what it is like there's there's certain things like i said you have to be humble enough to like hear another partner because you're literally sharing an existence with someone that guy just seems so powerless yeah there's a there's an aspect of that as well and i don't know there's like i don't know that's a that's not a situation i don't want to be in personally but i also don't care if other people do <laughs> But I will, I will in, uh, induce in the theory, engage in the theory. Dude, That's funny like, though. I never thought about poly with finances, shit. man. You think yeah, most of these stuff. people are younger? I feel like most of these people are younger that have these opinions. They were in their thirties. I th- I think that's I don't know. I, there's some some people that I know of from like school that were kind of like that. And polyamorous? No, 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 just theories about what what i would see as like an overcorrection of of relationship theories um and then they as they got on with like their 30s they kind of changed their minds i think that might be par for some people also do whatever you want dude i don't care 